You want to do the whole commissioning process on site? OK, let's do it. Open the iSolar Cloud app on your phone and log in to your account. Click on the plus button on the top right corner to add a new plant. Click on Plant Information and fill in all your plant information. Choose your plant name, installed power in kilowatt peak and plant type. The country, region, time zone and plant address will be filled automatically using the location of your smartphone. Click on the icon on the right side of the plant address field to confirm. You can modify the data if needed. Fill in the plant owner's email address. The owner will get an email notifying that the plant has been created. He or she will receive a link to create an end-user account. Add the grid connection type. You can also upload a plant image. Click Save and Continue to confirm your plant setup. Let's continue with the device setup. Scan the QR code of the Ynet communication device. Click Confirm to add the Ynet module to the plant. iSolar Cloud will connect directly to the Ynet. The commissioning is split into two phases the network connection and the device initialization. Start with the network connection. To do that, click on Network in the device menu. Select the customer's home Wi-Fi network. If the Wi-Fi is not displayed, refresh the list of available WLAN by clicking on the refresh icon. Fill in the Wi-Fi password and click Connect. Then proceed with the Easy Connect mode. To enable it, click the orange button on the dongle once. The Easy Connect establishes the internet connection to the local router without the need of leaving the iSolar Cloud app. Allow iSolar Cloud to find and connect to devices on the local network. As first step, the communication device connects to the home network. This may take some time. Secondly, the Ynet module connects with the iSolar Cloud server. Now you are done with the step Network Connection and you will see a green Complete label next to it. In case you have connected the Ethernet cable, you don't have to insert the password of the Wi-Fi. The Ynet will automatically be connected to the network and you will directly see a check mark. Let's proceed with device initialization. Now you see the inverter model and serial number. Click on Country Region to choose the grid code. Further define your parameters. Click on Continue to complete the device initialization. Now the inverter is configured successfully. Click on Continue to go on. Click on Continue again to get to the device check. If needed, you can add more devices to your plant directly here. Click on Save and Continue to go on. Follow the instructions to download the configuration report that contains all information about your plant. In the Edit Tariff menu, you can add the feed-in and consumption tariff to calculate the plant revenue. Fill in your tariff data and click Save and Continue. Now the inverter is configured successfully. Click on Complete to finish your commissioning. Within a few minutes, the inverter will connect to the grid and start producing. To see your commissioned plant, go to the Search icon and fill in your plant name. Click on your plant to get the overview menu. Here you can see the energy flow graphic and check your plant data. By clicking on the menu icon on the top right corner, you can check on more plant details. For example, review your plant configuration data again. By clicking the device menu, you will see the current working status of the devices. The green check marks indicates that the devices are communicating with the server. The plant is online and everything is working properly.